What's up guys, Ben here, and today we're just going to take a quick look at the software that you can download for the Corsair Raptor Gaming LM2 mouse. Uh, if you're interested in this, just go to Corsair.com forward slash US forward slash Raptor dash gaming, and there you will see a, a few different peripherals that they offer, headsets, keyboards, mice, and whatnot. If you look under the download section, you'll find the um, LM2 software. Once you download it and get it installed, this is what we're looking at. As you can see, the first page it comes up to is button, sensitivity, wheel, and mouse. So, obviously, we can map these buttons to do kind of different things depending on what you want for them. Um, as you can see on this button screen here, we can set buttons 3, 4, and 5 to default function, start menus, close window, context and a bunch of different options that we have. You can also do the sensitivity for the X, Y and double click sensitivity and as said in the unboxing overview you can also change between 8, 12, and yeah, 800, 1200 and 2000 DPI just by clicking the button on the mouse. Uh, this is indicated by the LED right below it. Um, off if the LED is off you're at 800 uh, low LED is 1200 and the uh, brightest LED would of course be the 2000 DPI you'll also notice that when you do this it does have a double click test so you can see how many times you've double clicked which will come in handy this just means it just makes it if you have your um, window set up to double click open everything that you turn the time down so it's easier to do you can also as you see changed the wheel adjustment um, I haven't quite played with this yet so I'm not sure yeah, as you can see we can go ahead and just change it a little bit it just affects the scroll speeds and whatnot so that's quite nice uh, as for application, I am not quite sure about that one. Uh, what exactly those will do, really? I don't. They may be. Um, it's probably you can set. That's yeah. You can probably set up your buttons to open. lot of options yeah application wheel yeah so you could go ahead and I imagine you can set your buttons to open up whatever applications you specify in this field and then also as all gaming products should have though I do not use them myself there is a little macro panel where you can go ahead and set up your macros um, same type of thing Let's change this to test yeah, with control H um start to record stop. Uh the only I don't see on this macro software is when you're actually hitting buttons it doesn't actually show you what you're hitting. So be careful. Make sure you know what you're doing. And that's it. Yeah, and I mean that's pretty much it for the software. It's all basic, you just have to go through yourself and set it all up, play with it a bit to get what get used to it and get to where you want with it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, my short review, and this uh, software preview. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment them or also send a message or get in contact with us and I'll do my best to reply. Thank you very much.